Now before I start this review, I want to give a shout out to my sponsor, T-Blocks. If you don't know what T-Blocks is, then you are missing out. It's a unique t-shirt subscription service where you can choose awesome and stylish shirts to be delivered to your door every month. Choosing from categories like cartoons, anime, movies and television, music, and even regular streetwear. All for the affordable price of $8.99 a month. And that's not all. If you use promo code GEMTBX, you can get a 10% discount off your entire order that can be used for its 1, 3, 6, and 12 month plans. Go to T-Blocks now and get yourself a new shirt every month. Come on, we all love awesome new shirts. Now, let's start the review. You know, today is basically a national holiday in the cartoon world. In only a few short hours, one of the greatest Nickelodeon shows ever made will finally make its long-awaited return to television and will resolve one of the biggest cliffhangers any Nickelodeon show has ever left off on. And for those of you who clicked on the video without reading the title, that show is Hey Arnold. I don't think it's too much of a stretch to say I'm excited to finally see the show get a continuation. I mean, it's a show that's tackled many adult topics, but has done so in ways that are entertaining to kids, yet obvious to adults. And the episode that showcases that perfect blend, probably better than any other episode, is Held on the Couch. Now this is by far the show's most recognizable episode, with many people viewing it as the best overall episode of the whole show. Hell, even Craig Bartlett himself called it his favorite episode, and for very good reasons. Not only is it entertaining and funny, but it's also really deep and emotional, as well as paints the character of Helga in a really interesting and complex light. It's an episode I've been getting a bunch of requests to review, and since the Jungle Movie comes out today, I figured no time would be better than right now to finally take a look at it. The episode opens with a new character who's a child psychologist named Miss Bliss, clever name, talking to Principal Warts about analyzing the students at the school, and fate itself comes a-knocking as the first student Miss Bliss sees is Helga, being her normal bitchy self. And after witnessing Helga's bullying of Arnold and knocking out Brainy, she talks to Principal Wards about having a therapy session with her, which Big Bob is of course unhappy by, even telling Helga not to discuss what goes on in their home life. I don't want you blabbing to some school shrink. We Patakis don't talk about things. We sweep them under the rug. Now anyone who's watched Hey Arnold up to this point knows that Big Bob has severe anger issues and is verbally abusive. So, it's not a surprise that he wouldn't want Helga talking about their home life. Even Miriam's against Helga getting into too much detail at her therapy session. And Helga, of course, handles going to therapy the way any kid would. She's very paranoid about it because she doesn't want everyone thinking she's insane. I'm crazy, hiding something. It's okay, Helga, old girl. You're, you're fine, you can do it. You're not nuts. Oh, trust me, Helga. I know exactly how you feel. When you're known as the guy who got sent to therapy from Spongebob, it's kind of hard to shake that image. Okay, in all seriousness, that's a pretty common misconception about therapy that keeps a lot of people away from it. The thought that it's only for people who have some kind of mental illness, even though therapy can be very useful to people who just have a lot on their minds, be it from going through a breakup, losing their jobs, or just being stressed out in general by daily life. And the episode does touch on that verbally for a brief second. Are you wearing a disguise because you're embarrassed about your upcoming session with Dr. Bliss? Because in this day and age, therapy is perfectly acceptable and quite useful. But honestly, a verbal telling isn't the most effective way to change people's views on something like this. And the episode understands that because it shows you the effects of therapy and how it actually works. As well as why therapists are professionals. Miss Bliss doesn't cut right to the chase with Helga. She actually humors Helga and plays towards things that'll make Helga feel comfortable about opening up to her. She shares some hobbies she had as a little girl that Helga has as well. She talks about how she had an older sister who got on her nerves. Hell, she even discusses destroying something her sister had just to get back at her once. And my sister kept it. She said you'd just break it. I was so mad, I snuck in her room and I broke it when she was sleeping. All this stuff makes Helga open up about her own relationship with her sister Olga, expressing her jealousy towards her sister and the inadequacy she feels around her, as well as how her parents treat her when Olga comes home. 
She talks about how she hates when her sister comes to visit because it makes her parents extra neglectful. Straight to the point where her own mother can't even remember to make her lunch and forgets to pick up her coat from the dry cleaner when it's freaking winter time, forcing her to walk to school in the snow. I'm going to school now. <laughs> Aw, oh, man, that's fucking cold. Pun not intended. Now I discuss my own views of Olga's mental state in my Top 10 Best Hey Arnold Episodes video by saying it's clear that Olga herself is a victim of her parents' treatment, but in a different way. Whereas Helga has developed hostility and anger issues because of her parents' constant neglect, Olga's developed perfectionism from their smothering treatment, meaning she can't actually enjoy her own accomplishments because she views them as the norm. Some people were not happy with that association though, and actually used this episode in particular as evidence that Helga has it worse than Olga, because Helga actually has to see a therapist because of her parents' treatment. And I disagree with that completely. I think both of them need to see a therapist. The only difference is Helga's problems are a lot more out in the open and can't be hidden well, so eventually someone was bound to notice that she should see someone about her issues, whereas Olga's problems can very easily be hidden. It's like how depression works, it's very easy to overlook. It's usually up to the person themselves if they want to try and get help for their issues. And Helga didn't decide to go to a therapist, she was basically forced into it. But it's not the same with Olga, because it's hard for an outside person to tell that there's something wrong with her. Now, I'm not saying Helga's wrong to feel the way she does. In fact, she's perfectly justified, especially with what's to come later in this episode. I just think both sisters are damaged in some way, and... It shouldn't matter who you think is more damaged. Anyway, while venting about this, Helga almost indirectly reveals her feelings towards Arnold and tries to leave before that happens. But Miss Bliss reveals that she already knows Arnold means something to Helga, and it's pretty interesting the way she describes it. You threw 57 spitballs at him. You stared at him the whole time, and you called him football head. Yeah, so what's your point? That's a lot of attention to pay to someone, even if it is negative. See, this is what I mean when I say this episode is more showing you how therapists operate. They're trying to notice things you'd never think would show how you're feeling, and they know how to explain it to you in ways that you can understand, thereby making it easier for them to teach you how to better deal with these issues. Helga denies that she has any hard feelings towards Arnold, and tells Miss Bliss that she just likes to bully people. So Miss Bliss agrees to stop talking about Arnold and instead moves on to other tactics like ink blots and word association. But when those also almost make Helga reveal her feelings towards Arnold, she asks to change the subject again. So Miss Bliss goes right back to Helga's home life, revealing sympathy towards how Helga described it. And this makes Helga go into even more detail, revealing the absolute worst of it. She reveals that even when she was in preschool, her parents would constantly ignore her and smother Olga with their attention, and that they wouldn't even drive her to preschool, which forced Helga to walk there herself. And God, this is just an overall depressing scene, but it also reveals this. So nobody's ever noticed you. And there was someone. Hi, nice bow. Huh? I like your bow because it's pink like your pants. This scene just made everything about Helga's obsession with Arnold clear. Like, more clear than ever before. Even though up to this point it was kind of clear that Helga had issues, it was never fully clear why she was obsessed with Arnold. But this episode reveals that it's because he was the only one who gave her any kind of positive attention. And the reason she hides it is also pretty interesting. It's because the other kids could tell she had a thing for him and made fun of her for it. But not only does it reveal why she hides her feelings, I also think it hints that Big Bob might be physically abusive. Quit laughing, geek bait, or you'll have to answer to old Betsy and the, and the five Avengers. Old who and the five what? My fist, stupid. That's their name. Now, Big Bob is clearly a... Well, big asshole. He's verbally abusive, he has no filter, it's clear he's got anger issues, and it's obvious some of that rubbed off onto Helga, hence why she's always making fun of Arnold, and always verbally threatening her classmates. But the thing is, watching her get physical with them as a kid, and listening to the way she phrases her words, like very similar to Big Bob, it leads me to believe that Big Bob might actually be beating his family. I mean, I don't know if he's beating Helga per se, but... I wouldn't be shocked if he beat Miriam in front of Helga. 
I mean, Miriam seemed to be an alcoholic, with hard liquor being subbed out with smoothies, and her characteristics do seem to fit that of an alcoholic. Passing out in weird places, making excuses, clearly having cloudy judgment. Hell, she's even had to do community service at one point. Remember, you're starting your community service job down at the animal shelter today. But there are some hints sprinkled in there that she's got battered person syndrome too. Hence why she always seems to be on Bob's side, and also doesn't want Helga talking too much about their home life. So, that alone adds some sympathetic layers to what Helga has had to live with her entire life. And it's really hard not to understand why she's the way she is. Miss Bliss finally asks Helga the million dollar question, why she takes her anger out on Arnold, and tells Helga that if she's afraid to tell her, she shouldn't be because Miss Bliss is sworn to secrecy and can't reveal what goes on in a therapy session. And after hearing this, Helga finally tells Miss Bliss her feelings for Arnold. I love him! I love him! Arnold! 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 I'm absolutely positively in love with the boy! I love Arnold! <laughs> Satisfied! <sighs> Man, that was building up for a while. I know, but you said it, and the world didn't end, did it? <sighs> no. I really like that scene too. I like how it paints Helga as having gotten a weight off her chest. Now, this wasn't exactly the first time Helga revealed her feelings for Arnold to someone. She revealed them to Lila in school play, and there were even hints that Phoebe knew about Helga's crush. Let's put it this way, Phoebe. If I don't stop sleepwalking, I could wind up revealing my most intimate, guarded secrets. <gasps> you mean, yes! Actually, I take that back. That's not a hint. They're straight up saying that Phoebe knows. But what makes this reveal so great is that it shows Helga having a better understanding of why she likes Arnold, and how her feelings for him, as well as the way she chooses to express them, aren't abnormal. She even gets a better grasp on why it's important for her to tell him someday, which seems to give her a feeling of closure. It's an overall powerful conclusion to the session. Helga reveals that she enjoyed her session and wants to take more, before walking away, finally feeling the weight of the world off her shoulders for once. Hey Helga, how you doing? Looking good? And that was Helga on the Couch, and it's still one of the greatest Hey Arnold episodes ever made. While I would still call the journal my favorite episode, this one would be a close second. There are just so many things about it that, like any good Hey Arnold episode, got better with age. Its portrayal of an actual therapy session is so dignified and well understood, its analysis of Helga is so deep and thought provoking, and its portrayal of Miss Bliss is one of the most genuine portrayals I've ever seen. She was actually portrayed as a legitimate, caring professional, and uh, it's clear Craig Bartlett put his heart and soul into this episode, and boy did it pay off. Unfortunately though, this would be the first and last time we would see Miss Bliss in Hey Arnold, but she was intended to be a crucial character down the road. Now I think most Hey Arnold fans know about this, but there was actually supposed to be a spin-off with Helga called the Batakis, which was supposed to focus around Helga's life as a teenager. It was even going to keep most of the same characters, except for Arnold who had moved away and it was going to show a lot of Helga going to more therapy sessions with Miss Bliss, which would have been a very interesting thing to see. But the series sadly never got made. Bartlett showed the pilot script of it to two networks, Nickelodeon, who found it too dark, and MTV, who felt it was too similar to Daria, which was still on the air at the time. So both of them turned the show down, which is actually pretty tragic. Could you imagine kids who grew up with Hey Arnold watching the Patakis as teenagers? I mean, Daria is something I would highly recommend for teenagers. It's dark, yeah, but it's fucking real. Like, the stuff that show shot at you was relatable in so many ways. And I would not doubt that the Patakis could have pulled that off as well, especially with Craig Bartlett at the wheel. Hell, fans wanted to see this series so badly that there were quite a few petitions to get the show to air on a major network, but... Sadly, the show never saw the light of day, and that's a damn shame, because I would have loved to see more therapy sessions with these two. But luckily, all of us might finally get that chance with the return of Hey Arnold today, 
At least, I hope they make Miss Bliss a more major character in the reboot of this show. You all know I'm excited for it. I got my DVR set, I got the television free, and I'm all ready for the return of one of my all-time favorite shows. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next review.